so today we're going to be doing lesson 27 from our book. Lesson 27 looks something like this. See that kind of whirlpool in the front? Yeah, we're going to be reading about whirlpools. You can tell automatically just based off of the title. We've got facts about whirlpools followed by a giant whirlpool. Something's going to happen here. Man, that was crazy what happened last time. And then Carla, I don't know what's going to happen this time. So let's get started. Look at section A, column one. We're going to first say those underlined parts and then the whole word. We've done this over and over and over again. You guys already know what to do. So let's get started. Number one, underline part, done. Whole word, thunder. Number two, underline part, shall. Whole word, shallow. Number three, underline part, blind. Whole word, blinding. Number four, underline part, some. Whole word, somehow. And number five, underline part, light. Whole word, lightning. All right, we'll do a nice lightning round of that right after we look at section two. Column two. We've got some words here. I'm going to say them. You will repeat them. Make sure you actually say these out loud. I know I've said this over and over again. I really, truly mean it. You have to read these out loud. You have to get that practice. This is what we would be doing in class. You're just doing it at home. And guess what? When you do it at home, there's fewer people listening to you, so that's even better. All right, come to number one. First word, moaned. What word? Second word, funnel-shaped. What word? Third word, stumbled. What word? Fourth word, allowed. What word? Fifth word, tearing. What word? Remember that last word, tearing. Last lesson, we looked at that and realize we're probably talking about the word tearing and not tearing. Pay attention. So we're gonna do this one more time. I'm hoping you'll say tearing instead of tearing on the second time. We're gonna do column one followed by column two, one after another. All right, let's get started. First word, what word? Second word, what word? Third word, what word? Fourth word, what word? Fifth word, what word? Column two. First word, what word? Second word, what word? Third word, what word? Fourth word, what word? And fifth word, what word? Oh, I hope you didn't get tricked up. Number five is tearing. All right. Section B. All right, it's section B. Look at section B. Follow along while I read aloud. Facts about whirlpools. In today's story, you will read about a whirlpool. Here are facts about whirlpools. Whirlpools are made up of moving water. A whirlpool is shaped like a funnel. Here is a funnel. It is wide on top and narrow on the bottom. Here is a whirlpool. It is wide on top and narrow on the bottom. The water in a whirlpool spins around and around. Something caught in a whirlpool goes around and around as it moves down. All right, today you are going to read section C up until the star out loud, either to an adult who signs off that they heard you or to a recording that you send to me. Then you can read from the star to the end in your head, okay? I'm trying to remember if there are questions in your packet. If there are, please do them. I'll be able to see if they're missing. If there are not, congratulations, you've reached one of the ones that I shortened for you. Have a great day.